the Malice Law. According to this law, when a beam of completely polarized light is incident on an analyzer, the resultant intensity of light I transmitted from the analyzer varies directly as the square of the cosine of the angle theta between the plane of transmission of analyzer and polarizer. Mathematically, I is proportional to cos square of theta. Now what is theta here? Theta here is the angle between the plane of transmission of the analyzer and the polarizer. So we can say that theta is the angle between the transmission axis of the polarizer and the analyzer. So basically this law talks to us or uh, tells us about the intensity, how high or how low the intensity would be. Intensity of what? Of the transmitted light, the light that is transmitted from the analyzer. So referring to this uh, figure, the Malice Law talks about the intensity of this light, the light that is coming out from the analyzer. Okay, so let's say the original intensity of light, the of unpolarized light is I0. So the intensity of the polarized light will be what? It will be half of that, half of I0. Okay, so what is the, uh, how, how this uh, intensity of light transmitted by the analyzer vary? How, uh, it varies as, as the cosine of the angle between the axis of the analyzer and the axis of the polarizer. Okay, let us do uh, one numerical problem so as to understand the concept uh, better. An unpolarized light passes through two polaroids. The axis of one polaroid is vertical and that of the other is 60 degree to the vertical. So that means the value of theta here is 60 degree. What is the intensity of light transmitted? That is what it says. So here, they do not tell you the value of the original intensity of light. So let's just see, let's just see, let I0 be the intensity, intensity of unpolarized light. Okay, be the intensity of unpolarized light. So therefore, intensity of polarized light is I0 by 2, all right? So let us refer back to the uh, diagram that we were looking before. So here, the value of I, the value of I is how much right so let's call this uh, let's call this to be I1 okay let uh, let that be I1 so what will be the value of I so I here it will be it will be proportional to cos square theta right so I here will be I1 cos square theta and uh, I1 will be what? I0 by 2. Okay, let us put that in this equation. So therefore, sorry about that. Therefore, intensity of transmitted light is I, which is equal to I1 cos square theta. Well, what is I1? I1 is half of the original intensity, cos square 60 degree. What is cos of 60 degree? 1 by 2, right? So I0 2, so this will be half square. So you get I to be I0 by 8. Answer. Okay, now this uh, second problem. A polarizing sheet is placed in the path of a polarized beam of light. The intensity of the transmitted beam is half that of the incident light. 
what is the angle between the polarization of the incident beam and the transmitted beam? So it says here that, uh, uh, the, okay, we have to find the angle out here, okay? So how do we do this problem? So let us use, let us use I2 to be I1 cos square theta. Okay, so by question, by question, the transmitted beam, that means I2. This is half of the incident beam, half of I1. So therefore, half of I1 is equal to I1 cos square theta. This and this will go, so cos theta will be 1 by root 2. Okay, so cos theta 1 by root 2 means that theta here is 45 degree. So what does it mean here? It means that suppose if this is the transmission axis of the analyzer, sorry, of the polarizer, let's say that is the transmission axis of the polarizer. Now if you rotate, if you rotate by the transmission axis of the analyzer by 45 degree, Okay, let me give this a, a different color. Okay, let's say you rotate the analyzer and so that this angle is 45 degree, then the light that comes that enters your eye will be half, will be half the intensity of the light incident uh, coming, um, uh, incident on the, uh, on the analyzer. Is this clear? So this is uh, what it means basically.